Hey, I'm Jake with Camping World here in Boise. We're standing in front of the 2014 Carbon 297. Uh, just kind of want to walk around the outside, then we'll go inside. I uh, hope you like this. You back up here, you get the uh, front gel coat cap. Has the LEDs uh, there in the front corners. You also have the LED here for the backup camera as well. Uh, it does have the nice mirror here, so as you're backing up, you can kind of see where your hitch is going to latch it on nice and straight. Makes it much easier. I kind of, before I get really get going here, I kind of want to show you, we're a very large dealer, um, as you can see. This is kind of our motorized line with a few of our fifth wheels are over here. Um, 22 service bays here. We run a full day crew, full night crew as far as service goes. So when you come to pick this thing up, it's going to be ready to go. It'll go through our shop as well. Uh, back to the carbon. You have the, the uh, nice electric awning out here on the front. This will also have, uh, I don't know if you can kind of see up in there, but it does have the LED strip for the awning. That's pretty cool at night to light that up. And seven and a half gallon bottle of propane on this side. You have one on the other side as well. So you'll have uh, 15 gallons of propane. As you lift up the uh, storage compartment here, you got a nice big pass-through storage here. You also, that little blue cord there is the uh, uh, pressure, uh, kind of like the outside shower. I'll show you on the outside where it hooks up. There's the light in that storage compartment as well. You'll have a nice uh, three steps to get up into the coach. It does have the stylized aluminum wheels. Trail Air Equiflex suspension, which is uh, helps with the bucking and the balancing of the fifth wheel. Here on the back, you'll also have uh, electric jacks as well. See, they'll drop down right there. Spare tires located right here as well. It does have LED lights here on the back. Nice big cargo door. Uh, you have your LED lights that come off the back there that shine out onto the, uh, you know, if you're unloading or loading at night, that'll really help. Nice big collapsible ladder that's located, that's attached here at the side. Your fuel station and everything's all located right here. You'll have a nice on and off switch for the fuel pump, 30 gallon fuel station, as well as uh, your pumps all located here. That's a 12 volt pump that'll uh, put all the fuel in and out. Got a nice big slide out here. Six gallon gas electric water heater. This is where the 50 amp uh, connection is located. It's all sealed connection, so you don't ever have to worry about the mice and stuff getting up and in there. This will have two gray water tanks and one black water tank. Uh, they'll all dump out of that one spout there. As you come here to the other side of that storage compartment, um, this is where everything's kind of located as far as uh, your water lines and winterizing. Uh, cable and satellite are all located right here as well. Low point drains. This does have the sewer flush on it, so you don't ever have to stick your hose down the toilet anymore to rinse it out. It does have it built in here on the outside. Battery disconnect switch, so if you're not using it, you can kill the power to everything. That's where that little blue hose connects to. Hot and cold water there. You have your other seven and a half gallon bottle of propane. And then we would come up here in the front, 5500 Onan generator. Pretty, you're pretty familiar with that with your Raptor. And then a uh, place for two batteries. Again, they are electric jacks here in the front. They're the quick pull, so it makes it much easier getting in, uh, getting those up and down. But that's the outside. Let's go inside. Right as we come in the door, you walk right into the entertainment center here. You have a little DVD player, CD, AM, FM radio. You also have all of your controls are located here. Slide out controls, electric awning, uh, battery, fresh water, black water, gray water, all that's located all right here. Uh, water heater, indoor outdoor speakers you can turn on and off, inside and outside lights, water pump, generator start, all that's located right here as well as the gauge for the fuel. You have good storage here. 
I really like this uh, distressed wood that they came out with. Uh, I just think it looks really awesome. Nice uh, Sansui TV. You got storage all the way across there. You got uh, recessed LED lights as well. In the slide out, you're going to have storage all the way across here. Again, we talked. To, I just got off the phone with you about this couch. Um, this middle one here does lift up, and that uh, that'll make it pulls out into a nice little storage compartment there. You'll have the night shades, which are cloth blinds. In the kitchen area, you got a lot of really good storage for this small little kitchen. You got four nice drawers here. This one here is, uh, I guess, three drawers. This one's the sponge holder. And then you got these nice full extension ball bearing drawers so you don't have to reach in underneath stuff anymore. You can just pull them all the way out. Nice place for a little garbage can, pots and pans there on the floor. You got a nice little storage compartment underneath the oven. Again, you get the nice uh, 16 inch oven as well as the three burner stove and the stove top cover as well. This does have the sparker for all the burners, so you're not going to have to try to light that with a match all the time. Underneath the fridge, you got a little more storage here. Great place for pots and pans again. This is the 8 cubic foot fridge, so you'll have four uh, places here in the door, as well as four shelves there. And then a nice big uh, freezer. Got storage all the way up there, as well as all the way across. Nice deep storage compartments as well. Looks like my battery's getting a little low, so I'll kind of hurry along here. But solid service countertops, undermount sinks, they're all stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about uh, hot pans melting through them. Nice high rise faucet. As you come back here into the back, you'll notice that it does have the uh, welded tie downs, they're all welded to the frame. It's got the two chairs here that'll fold down to make in, or couches that'll fold down to make into a queen bed. Plus, you have the queen bed up there as well. It does have the max air vent. You can barely see it up there above the mattress, but uh, it does have the max air vent for ventilation. It's got the nice pull down screen door, so that'll pull right down, as well as it does have uh, the carpet here, kit here as well wired and uh, ready for another TV back here if you want to put a second TV back. As we come upstairs, you have a nice queen bed here. Got storage on both sides of the bed. Got storage all the way across the uh, top of the bed as well. Then you got a nice, uh, this bedroom slide out makes it pretty nice because now you got a bunch of uh, hanging storage here that you used to not have as well as a uh, little more storage here. Nice little uh, drawer. You got three of those for clothes. Got storage underneath, uh, underneath the bed as well. That's where the table's located. And then I like this, it's the dual entry for the bathroom. So you have a nice little bathroom sink here. Got storage underneath uh, the sink as well. And you also have a uh, little storage across here in the medicine cabinet. A nice little garden tub with the adjustable, uh, adjustable faucet there. This is the porcelain toilet, so it's not a plastic toilet, it's all foot flush. You'll also have a little place up here for toilet paper or whatever, linens. The shower also has a nice skylight over it. I'm six foot and I can stand up in there pretty easily. So This is a great little coach. Uh, carbons have done really well for us. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it answers the questions that you're looking for. So uh, I hope to talk to you soon. I appreciate it. Thank you.